Well, welcome back folks and uh, welcome to another edition of Captain Quarters. Um, I'm currently in a, a 10 day uh, isolation, currently in day 9. Uh, really looking forward to uh, getting back out fishing. I've not done any fishing obviously for, because in that time. Uh, feeling a lot better than I was and um, but I'm not wasting this opportunity. I'm going to do some um, mackerel um, sorting. So what's, what's mackerel sorting? So I'm basically setting my baits up for when I go fishing. I've got some mackerel, it ain't the best but it does preserve it a lot better for when you go fishing and it makes it a lot better for when you're casting out there, it makes it a lot more solid and um, yeah so I'll show you how I'll do it. I've got a couple of ma mackerel to fill it off. Uh, I'll show you my different techniques of how I do my uh, fillet in for the type of fishing I'm going to be doing and, uh, and how I'll salt them. Um, and uh, I'll show you the difference between salted and non-salted and uh, I'll let you uh, have, a, have a look at it and see what you think. may work for you, may not work for you. It works for me. And so let's get to it. So welcome back folks. As you can see, a couple of mackerel, a knife, nice and sharp. I've just sharpened it a small in and um, yeah, all ready to go to fill it in. Nice thin blade, nice and flexy. This is my general baiting up knife anyway. Um, for when I go shore fishing. Um, next thing you're going to need is salt, <coughs> any brand, it don't matter. As long as it's a, a nice this kilo bag of salt, cheap as chips. Get that from any place, any supermarket or like. And good old Chinese plastic tubs. I'm sure people got plenty of them lying around. I've base layered it with a bit of salt and I'll show you what I'll do with that later. And uh, sorry if I sound a little bit uh, croaky in the old um, video, but um, hopefully it'll be all right and you'll hear me okay. So <clears throat> let's fill it them off. Everyone knows, pretty much knows how to fill it a mackerel really, but there we go. So I'll just go behind the um, fin there, straight through turn the knife and fill its lateral bone there and just run it all the way along all the way through and there's one fillet there so there we go one fillet turn it right over again straight through twist the knife so you feel the bone and then bring it all the way along you can hold it that way depending on what and there we go <coughs> you can keep the heads if you want to um, good for rubby dubby and that all good stuff but I'm just going to chuck it for this time round so I'm going to put it in the bag <coughs> um, ready for when uh, <coughs> I need to dispose of again another mackerel I'm going to do, do four fillets it is pretty mushy this mackerel at the moment. Not good at all. There we go. But we will sort that out. Turn it over. Again, down the lateral line. Fill in the bone. There we go. <coughs> Dispose off. Four nice fillets now, and as you can see, that one's a little bit frozen still, so it's it's pretty mushy. It's pretty. Anyone who knows mackerel, it's not the easiest baits to put on your hook when it's getting pretty mushy, and um, yeah, not good. Excuse me, while I have a cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so full fillets. So I'm going to prep these up for the style of fishing I'm going to be doing. So on the shore, when I just want to do a bit of tip baiting, I'm just going to do thin slivers for the tipping, like so. So they are literally the size of your, about the width of your finger. And it's probably a little bit bigger, depending on the obviously the fillet size uh, is going to be about the length of your small finger, somewhere around that. So I cut them like that for tipping baits. So when I'm on the shore, I just want a tipping bait. This is how I cut them down. 
like so. And let me put these on the uh, on this lid here, so they're out of the way. There we go. So there's your nice tipping baits. <coughs> And I'm going to do another load of those because I want, I want a bit more of those tipping baits when I'm shore fishing. I don't know if you can see in the camera if uh, how mushy this is, but it's not. You need a really sharp knife, otherwise you just drag, drag the. Uh, the flesh around and it's just not good at all <coughs> so there we go all sort of finger size just for tipping off so let me get that out of the way now if I'm on the boat and I want a larger bait for say <coughs> a ray maybe a bass there's several ways I'll do it generally I'll go straight down the middle of the of the fillet like so. So you have two halves of the fillet. In so two nice baits like so. So nice long baits, good for rays, good for bass and you will definitely get the dogfish on that, that's for sure. No doubt about it. So let's put those on that bit of uh, lid. So that's another way I'll do it. Now if you want a few more baits from your fillet, but you still want a bit of long length of a bait, then cut it diagonally, like so. So you do your diagonal to the fillet. There's one, again, like so, diagonal to the fillet. And it all depends what you want to do, how thick you want those fillets on the diagonal. So there we go, there's the diagonal. So you've got one, two, three, four, five out of that. So several different ways how you cut your fillet to how you want to fish. So over there is for when I go shore fishing, just for the tip in. Split the, the fillet in half, straight for like the rays. Again, good for rays again on the diagonal across the fillet, but you just get more baits. Um, and especially if you're getting a lot of dogfish, you don't want to annihilate two baits straight away when you can maybe have several baits out of um, one fillet. Now salting, really simple, really simple this. So all I do, <coughs> get your, get your uh, bits of flesh, your bit of meat and all the rest of it that you want to do, spread it around in the, in the uh, tub, make sure it's well flat so there's plenty of room so there's plenty of salts getting on it and I'll get the other tub as well and I'll, I'll do, do the diagonal stuff it's probably going to be easier for me to scrape these off placing them on the salt and there we go so there we go so base layer of salt at the bottom and it's just a matter of sprinkling a bit of salt on top. Now that will take about two to three days to firm up. Um, and it absolutely works a treat for your fishing baits to re reuse them if you like to be able to use them I should say more so than reuse them um, let me get this out of the way <coughs> and let me show you that I, what ones I've done um, what, about three days ago now 
so there we go I've taken most of the salt out so that's what I'm left with nice firm baits really firm if you so let me take one of these out here you know really mushy horrible squidgy but that is firm look how I'm really squeezing that really squeezing it now do that look at that just mush absolute mush so these are some of the ones I made earlier on easy to hook on the on your hook get the old elastic bind it on absolute treat but as soon as that hits the water dissolves off and there we are you're back to a bait like that again the salt will take some of the um, juices away but it also will seal some of the juices in so there's there's one there again a little bit there um, I made a big old half a bit as well half of uh, a chunk there maybe chunk off for a conger or something like that um, yeah several bits that I've done so yeah they done three days ago so now they're done put the lids on and let them stand for two or three days I'll just leave them out in the shed in a dry place and that then after about two or three days you'll see it if you go after a couple of days and, and open the lid up and have a feel see what's happening you, you'll, you'll know if they're on their way or not on their way well folks I'm sorry that I cut short that video I lost the sound right at the very end so frustrating but hey okay, there we go anyway hope you enjoyed the video have a go yourself it really does work it really works for me as well and uh, yeah really great to do hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget all importantly give me the thumbs up push the old subscribe button and also the uh, the bell signal as well to see my latest videos uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe uh, like a lot of things in life it does but actually YouTube subscription doesn't uh, and it really helps the channel out um, close to 500 which is which is great and I'm, I'm trying to get up there before Christmas but now we're November um, we get quite a lot of views but the subscriptions are not gaining as fast as uh, I was hoping and uh, when you see the amount of um, views you get to the subscriptions it's quite low um, only subscribe if you really want to folks you know you don't have to obviously sort of thing but it all helps as I said anyway I'm not trying to beg, just, it just helps the channel, that's all. Anyway, thank you very much guys and girls, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.